Welcome everyone, Farber Cop here. This is gonna be the top 10 mods of the week. I apologize, I haven't done uh, one of these in a few weeks just because I've been traveling out of town, busy with stuff, I'm on a different schedule now, all of that good stuff. But without further ado, let's go and jump into it today. This is gonna be the top 10 mods, again, for the week that released on the Vod Hub. And these are all mods that are for all platforms. Uh, some weeks they do cover mods that are not for all platforms, but this week they're all for all platforms. And make sure when you guys download mods and use them, if you like them, make sure you guys leave a rating of five out of five stars for the modders. Um, that goes to help support them quite a bit. So please do that, guys, if you all possible can. But anyhow, let's go and jump in again to it. The top 10 mods for this week. All right, number one this week, we have the N015 KOS. This is by Hastel EE. This is 10.22 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars, with 106 people having rated it. This is a $700, that's at all costs, $700. It is a fertilizer shredder, and also it does uh, plant certain crops. It plants uh, oilseed, radish, uh, grass, and I believe there's one more. I just can't remember it off the top of my head, but again, plants a couple of those different basic crops for you. It has a seven meter working width, which is really cool. So it basically works as a broadcast uh, fertilizer shredder or a broadcast planter. Um, it has a capacity of 200 liters. You can configure the hitch. You can do a three point uh, hitch on the front if you'd like to as well. It has some different visual and color configurations uh, to change how it looks for you. But regardless of that, very cool. This is the N015 KOS by Hastel and EE. All right, for number two this week, we have the Lizard D trailer pack. This is by Castan18. 20.56 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 30 people having rated it. Um, these have different configurations for capacity, different styles of trailers, and you can do the tires, the color, or the cover on these guys as well. And we're actually gonna take a look in the store here in just a second, just to take a look at the different trailer options that do come in this pack. So in this pack, we have the, well, just ranging through here, I'm not gonna read off all the numbers, but you have a couple here that are uh, solid, um, and then you also have a couple here that are swivel axle style trailers. So um, again, we have an option here that's 15,000 liters and 18,000 liters, and we have an option 15,000 liters and 18,000 liters there. So. Um, those are the different things there and they're all bulk trailers so they'll do all sorts of different crops and everything like that but there you guys go that is the lizard d trailer pack by cast 18. all right for number three this week we have the pack micro tractors and implements this is by eric isaac agromods 19.58 megabytes to download for all platforms currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 267 people having rated it this is a fantastic tractor pack especially for those of you maybe running a smaller farm or uh, kind of maybe more old school equipment or any of that sort of stuff this is going to work uh, really well for whatever you need to do um there are a lot of different things in this pack so i do want to hop in the store real quick so we can take a look at those so now that we're in the store you can see we have the micro tractor with trailer you have a couple of configurations in here bale trailer which is what we have it in uh capacity 3000 bale trailer there capacity 6000 and then back to that bale trailer there you can go from 20 to 50 horsepower as well in that and then we have the micro tractor itself which is a scary right here again 20 to 50 horsepower uh, so you have those options there available for you and then again, we have some different attachments for it. So here we have a spader attachment, which is 1.4 meter working with at six miles an hour. We have the micro plow, which is six miles an hour at 0.4 meters. Um, then we also have the micro tractor with bush cutter, which is a mower. So a 1.5 meter mower. Uh, we have the straightener, um, use of iron wheels, it says there. This is a cultivator. So this is gonna work as a cultivator for you uh, at a three meter working width. Now these guys should all attach, all these different attachments can attach to this track right here, the micro tractor there. And if you hit combinations there, it'll show you that as well. So uh, there you guys go. But yeah, that is the Pack Micro Tractors and Implements by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. A very cool little tractor pack. So make sure you guys check that out. All right, for number four this week, we have the Valzelli Cubex. This is by My or Miraz. Miraz to Miraz. I apologize for the name pronunciation. This is 13.28 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 87 people having rated it. Uh, so the Vizelli Cubex a 4X here is only $90,000 to buy, has a 35,000 liter capacity, which is which is decent for a uh, uh, slurry spreader. Now, the main thing, the main draw to this is it has a range and working width from 6.5 meters all the way up to 42 meters. So um, that is honestly one of the biggest draws to this is it has quite the range on it or quite the uh, working width for you um, without having any attachments on the back, which is really nice. So. Typically, if you have a really wide working width and a slurry spreader, you have to have a big old attachment on the back that's as wide as that width um, to have the kind of like the injection hoses and stuff like that. But the benefit to this is it does not have that as a necessity, which is really cool. Uh, this is one of my favorite slurry spreaders in FS19, and it's cool to see it come up to FS22. So there you guys go. That's the Valzelli Cubex. As we continue to number five this week, we have the Gregory Cowshed. This is by uh, PigU1A. This is 37.28 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.6 out of five stars with 36 people having rated it. 
This is a cow shed barn modeled on a real one that exists in the real world. It has a capacity of 31 cows. So you can see there's no pasture or anything like that. So it's all going to be kind of happening inside, if you will. Um, I do kind of like the little manure pit uh, setup it has on there. It's just something unique that I haven't seen before. Um, again, it does hold 31 cows. The price for this is $60,500 and has a daily upkeep cost of $10. So this might be just the cow shed you're looking for um, on your farm. So there you guys go. That's the Gregory Cow Shed by Piggy 1A. All right, for number six this week, we have the Electric Fire Defense. This is by Sosi Modding and Anorexi. This is 27.90 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.5 out of five stars with 683 people having rated it. Typically, I would want uh, mods that are a little bit higher rated than this to uh, come to the top 10 mods of the week. However, this one had 683 people that rated it, which means it got a lot of attention and a lot of downloads. So I figured it was worth putting this in there. There was a lot of detail on this. As you can see, all the doors are open. That little light comes up on the top. You have some emergency lights flashing on there as well. Um, all, the, all the good stuff that you would expect from a fire engine. This one is, again, electric powered, so you can charge it and all that good stuff, which is pretty cool. So for your role play and everything like that, um, this would be a really cool uh, vehicle to have and exist in that. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of good a lot of good features, again, on it. And there was another one that came out as well. I believe it's the non-electric version that came out as well in the Mod Hub. Uh, so there's a couple different options out there for you that came out this week. So there you guys go. That is the Electric Fire Defense by 20, or excuse me, by Sosi Modding and NRXC. All right, for number seven this week, we have the Wooden Shed Pack. This is by VX Mapping, 21.08 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.6 at five stars, so 36 people having rated it. You can see the shed we have out here in the pack has a little repair trigger and some nifty little details in it, so I do like that. Now, if we do hop into build mode real quick, just to take a look at all the sheds in this pack, um, you can see we have this guy right here, which is the one that I have out for display for you at $200,000 to buy. Uh, we have the shed with roll-up doors here. If we can zoom out just a touch there. Um, we also have the double part shed, which we can get in there so we can take a look. One side has that for you. Um, the other side has some vehicle storage. I really like that one, actually. Uh, this one's kind of a mix of both. has a roll-up shed on one side, some shelving in there. Uh, very cool, like that. And it has it's like a side door on there as well. And you can see some of the storage in there through the window. Um, and then finally, we have the open vehicle storage here, which has a lot more space for your larger vehicle. So um, a really cool shed pack. Uh, make sure you guys check this out. This is the wooden shed pack by VX Mapping. All right, for number eight this week, we have the Bail Punker for Sugar Beet. This is by CarTech. 0.35 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars, with 31 people having rated it. Not only does this look like, it look like a nifty little kind of storage facility, um, this works like a silo where you can dump sugar beets in and pull them back out. And it only costs you $2,500 um, to purchase this thing here. And you can put again, several of them down if you wanted to. as a $5 daily upkeep. And then it holds 500,000 liters of sugar beets, which is really cool. So you can just back your trailer up, dump them in. And then whenever you want to sell them or get rid of them, you can come up and then you just load it up like you're loading from a silo. So really cool feature. Really like that. That is the bail bunker for sugar beets by Cartech. All right, for number nine this week, we have the JD light sign or the John Deere light sign. This is by Assassin at TV2. 1.67 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 48 people, or excuse me, 44 people having rated it. Um, so this is just a older John Deere sign here. Um, it costs $2,000 to buy, but it does make it $80 an hour in income and the daily upkeep is about $10 per day. So um, just kind of a little nifty sign. If you like John Deere, put it on your farm or a little bit extra money. So there you guys go. That's the JD Light Sign by Assassin TV2. And finally, for our 10th mod today, the top 10 mods of the week, we have the Liber uh, SC350T by Kenny456. This is 11.47 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 173 people having rated it. This thing is used, as you can probably imagine based on its look here, is used to move shipping containers around of various sizes. It'll work with 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 foot containers. Um, those are all the containers that came with the Hispano modding packs. Um, so you can move all those around using the tension strap system. Um, and it also works with the wood containers from the Platinum DLC. So this is a very cool uh, setup here. Now this thing is quite expensive. It's $340,000, but it is really cool if you wanted to move and load and uh, do all sorts of stuff with your containers. You could drive this thing over top of a truck and set stuff down on a semi truck or load off of a semi truck or anything like that. So this is a really cool mod. And I'm excited to see kind of some more of these more industrial mods for um, our farming and stuff like that. So there you guys go. That's the Liber uh, SC350T by Kenny456. And with that, that is going to be our top 10 mods of the week. If you guys enjoy this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.